folks, how are you guys today? Another beautiful day today here on the homestead. Supposed to warm up to minus 4 degrees Celsius today. I think it's only minus 11 right now. This is what I've been working on here. When I got this snowmobile, there were ski wideners on it. <clears throat> Set the skis way out. Well, they flop. They end up wearing out the kingpins. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking these to the skis. See, these plates were put on, but those skis are supposed to bolt right up underneath. It does make the snowmobile a little tippier, but uh, it doesn't put as much pry on everything. So anyway, there's my little wood pile now. And we're going to go inside and I'll show you uh, what my girlfriend's been up to. She's started her homemade wine. It's my pile so far. She's over four and a half feet high and over 16 feet long now. <coughs> so... I added, I think you can see the top stuff, and then I added all this yesterday here. I made three slate loads yesterday. But, uh, snowmail's doing good. actually gave the sleigh away. It'll be going to my brother in the spring. <clears throat> this is the only problem. What happens here when I ended up taking off those wear bars off the bottom is, uh, it lost its support. So these here... They can bend now. Just needs a little gusset in there, that's all. Anyway, it's running good. My girlfriend follows me in with her Elan, takes the little sleigh in with the gas and oil in. That's what we're up to now, and now we'll go in the house and I'll uh, show you what she's been up to. She's been making some wine. Okay, so here's the, the wine my girlfriend's been making. You want to say hi, Heather, to everybody? Hello. Okay, that's, so that's my girlfriend. You guys have seen her before on here. So anyway, that's all she does. Uh, like it started to warm up outside and our berries that we picked last year, we just had them froze. And uh, it's gonna go above zero degrees here pretty soon and, and they're gonna start to melt, thaw out and go bad. So uh, my girlfriend just makes wine with them. I have my girlfriend explain here what, what she does with her wine making. Go ahead. Okay, so basically I just take um, fruit, water, sugar, um, and baker's yeast. Most people will use wine yeast, but I don't bother. I don't think it's necessary, but, um, anyways, it's never, sometimes they say it'll ruin your wine if you don't use the wine yeast, but I've never found that to be a problem myself. Anyways, um, basically what I do is I take it all, the sugar, yeast, water, fruit, let it all ferment for about three to five days, depending, um, on how long it's going to take. Uh, anyways, what I do is, then is I take a measurement with this hydrometer. Um, it needs to, like when you first make it, you need to start off with a, a reading of, I'll show you on here, a reading of uh, 1.090 right there. That's what it needs to start off as. Okay. And then you go to, like when you go to uh, make your, like when you go to filter it off or siphon it off, you have it at a 1.030, which this one is at right now. This one is taking a little longer, but I'll, anyways, I'll show you here. <coughs> and this, this is what, what it looks like. Now what you have in there, you, it looks like rhubarb, blueberries, and yeah, what else? Yeah, this one has, actually I have it written on there. This one has blueberry, rhubarb, strawberry, and banana. Okay. You can actually see a bubbling. You can see the yeast working in there. Now this is the first process. You can even smell it. It's starting to smell like wine. Yeah. Now today I guess it's ready to be siphoned off. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. This one is ready. Woody. The other one it is It smells not. like wine. I'm, I'm not a big alcohol drinker, but I can sure tell that it smells like wine. Ne neither of us really drink it. So. More of a hobby, we, she does. You can, see, you can see the yeast just bubbling. And, yeah, Anyways, and, and we are about cheap. Yes. So you're just going to check the alcohol content now? Yeah, I'm going to check the specific gravity of it. To see if, make sure it's ready to... Do you want to pour that over here? the sink? Sure. Thing. Okay, 
so as you can see here, it's right where I want it to be. It's at 1.030. That's perfect for putting it into the second fermentation. Okay. Now, so, how long has it been in those pails for? The one hasn't been there three days. The I one mean, we just checked? Yeah. So three days yes. near the heat, near yes. the wood stove. Okay. Now, the other one, I believe, is still at 1.06, but I'm not entirely certain. But it's not ready yet, the other one. This one is still. So this one's ready and the other yes. one's not. Okay. Okay, so what's left, I guess, is just to... Uh, Siphon it off. Just, okay. And, and what does this one here have in it? Can we take the lid off? Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the other reason, folks, that it's covered, I guess, is because one fruit fly in there can turn the whole batch to cider. Yeah, turn it into a vinegar. Vinegar cider, yeah, I guess. Vinegar, whatever. Um, now, now one, what's in this one here? It's got blueberry, sugar plum, raspberry, sure, and banana. Sure, yeah, sugar plum. I'll just let people know in case they don't know. What we call sugar plum here, other people call Saskatoon berry, service berry. Uh, there's other names for it, but anyway, that's what we call uh, that's what we call uh, sugar plum. But yeah, actually, you know what? I'll do a reading of that one too, just to show you. Okay. Because sometimes the different fruits it takes it takes longer or shorter periods of time to. I guess it depends on how fast the sugars come out of it. Yeah. How fast the yeast breaks down and, the sugar and turns it into alcohol. Yeah. And because it's I'm doing this in the winter. It Ooh. does make a difference, like the temperature that you keep. If your wine's not at a steady, constant temperature, um, then it will affect how well it ferments. Yeah, and it doesn't stay stay no. constant in here. No, it doesn't. You can sure smell it. This this stuff here smells really nice. It's got a really sweet smell to it. Of course, the more sugar content in the berries, the stronger the alcohol will be when it's done. I believe because the yeast turns the sugar to alcohol. See, this is a much darker one. You can see that. It's a yes, darker yeah. color. That one's more light. does look good. We will follow over here again. This is actually the first video my girlfriend's done with me. Like, real, like you know, where she's uh, talked oh, lots. More than that. Usually she's very shy. Yeah, I don't really like being... Now, what do you figure this will make... Uh, what do you figure this will make? Uh, maybe about a gallon each. A gallon each. So that's a few bottles for sure. And about five bottles. Excuse me. About five bottles per uh, gallon, I believe. Five bottles. So we should end up with ten, ten yes, bottles ten. of wine with all this. It's at 1.060. So yeah, this one's got probably another day or two, and it should be fine. It'll probably have to go the full five days. Okay. Unlike the other one, only took three, but... So there you go, folks. Just a video of uh, some of the things my girlfriend does around here when I'm out doing firewood and stuff. And when she's not helping me, she's uh, doing stuff in here on the homestead. <clears throat> As you can see, I still have all my tools in here. Everything's all, uh, you know, I got it all messed up. I got my, I hang my different coveralls up there to let them dry, and I got some tools over there and whatnot. So, I mean, it's pretty messy, but she seems to put up with me, which is good. And uh, this guy here, when he's not out helping, he tends to spend most of his days on the couch. Hey, want to say hi, Wojo? <laughs> okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, comment if you, if you may, and... Uh, I'll get back to you on it. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Say bye, Heather.